Okay, here I'll be showing how to install XSM on Windows. In order to do that, first we go to a Google. Now let's type download. Down. Download. For Windows. Okay. Now click on the first page here, which says download SSM app page friends. Let me change the language. Okay. Okay. Now, in order to install it, let's go to, uh, let's check for the latest version. And the latest version is 8.08 .08 PHP. Okay. We'll click on download. As you can see, it's already downloading. It's gonna take time, but in order to uh, in order not to waste too much time, I will be fast forwarding the video. As you can see, it's almost true. Oh yes. Now we have we have successfully downloaded it. Now let's check our folder. okay okay what we need to do now is to install it now let's click on it and now it brings us to this place I, this pops up now let's click on the next button now when this comes up it says select the component you want to install click the component you do not want to install click next when you are ready to continue on this platform all you need to do is to ensure that all the components are clicked so you after ensure that all of them are clicked, you click on the next button. Then you can decide to choose what folder you want to uh, install this XSM. If you want to change the like this the, the default um, setting, if you want to change it, you can just click on this. All you need, you go back. And click on the next and you can decide to use any language well in my case you have touch okay then you click in my case i'm going to use english then you click next then you click next Uh, no. As you can see, it says setup is now ready to begin installing XSM on your computer. So we we'll click on the next button and wait for it to. It to now we wait for it to install you know that first not to take too much time i'm going to fast forward the video as you can see we are almost true okay once this pops up you know for us to allow the apache to communicate to this network we also need to click on the private network such as uh, my home or work network 
So we click Allow Access. Then this pops up. Say, so do you want to start the control panel now? You can say uh, you can leave it on that and start on it. Let's click finish. Once you click that, it pops up. Okay, as you can see, it's up and running. So what you need to do is to click on start button. Start button. Then we we'll wait. Once it's it's up and running. You see the configuration here. It shows that it is running. You see, my SQL shows that the status change detected is running. Then the other Apache is also here. The status change detected it's also running. So you know it's up and running. So let in order for us to um, now we are going to test this using the PHP. Now, not to do that, let's go to the click on the admin. Yeah, sorry, the English. Okay, in order to see how this works, let's write a, a PHP a code snippet. In order to do that, let's go to notes, but okay. Then, uh, sorry, first, I would like to show you where the, uh, the XS ARM is being installed. Let's go to our folder. See, this is our XS ARM. And if you want to um, install your project, you, you need to come to this place and and you click on the HT docs. This is very important. This is where all your project is being installed. You like your, your modules such as uh, WordPress and other uh, modules. So what, what you need to do is that once you you uh, download your WordPress or you, you install it in this place, in order for us to test this, we will need to write uh, a PHP, uh, a PHP program, uh, a code, a code snippet, and actually put it here so that you see how it works. So um, let's come to this place. In order for us to test this, let's uh, try our. Let's try to write a, a PHP a code snippet. PHP. Type echo um, hello viewers. Okay. Now let's save. No, okay, now let's save this okay now let's save this to our uh exam in order for us to do that we will now go to where we actually uh, installed our exam we installed it i actually installed it on the local uh disk then this is our exam we click on the exam click on this this is where we install our modules. So enough for us to run a uh, PHP code uh, snippet. We uh, we will try to uh, uh, install it here. That's the ones the one I just created. 
So let's uh, install it here. I will uh, give it any name. Uh, let's say uh, a welcome welcome page. Welcome page. Okay. Now let's click on all files. So I to recognize all. Okay. Then so, um, we will click save. Since now we ha now have the file. Since we now have uh, since we now have the file in our htdocs. Now let's go to our htdoc and get. Let's go to our htdoc. Now let's go. Where is it again? Uh, PC. Okay. This is it. I would like to get the exact name of the page. Now, there's one other thing. I would like to. I made a mistake. Once you do, you need to save it as PHP. We need to install this as PHP since it's a PHP code snippet. So when we are opening it, we recognize it as a PHP snippet. So now let's uh, copy this, the full name. Oh no. Oh, come page. Okay. Click copy. Okay, now let's test the page. No, sorry. First of all, we need to call on the local host, which is local host. We need to call on our server by clicking uh, writing a local host then we we'll paste uh, the name of our page oh what seems to be happening oh i think i know why okay now where is it you see it's not it's supposed to be the same file file format with the with this index so it's not it wasn't properly saved i have to delete it again now let me save again. Welcome page dot php. Now all files. Okay. Now let's try to check if it's on the same format. As you can see, it's on the same format. Now it will work. Now let's check again. Yes, I got it. Okay. Now we can also modify it by let's say what if I say uh, uh, okay. Let's save this. Now let's refresh. Okay, does it? We thought that it's all working and running fine. So, if you want to see how to install Modus in, in the same uh, HTDoc, uh, I'll be doing that in my next video. Please do subscribe. Thank you. Bye.